the 111T here, guys. Just going to do a quick little video about everyday carry writing implements. Um, you know, these things are good. You know, obviously you might want a pen, you know, in a kit. But, you know, for those of us who fill out forms and stuff as part of work, you know, having a pen, a reliable pen, is, is a good idea. Now, I've got a couple different pens here, and I'm going to tell you guys, I don't know if it's a secret, but it's a kind of on, it's not outside of the box kind of use, but it's a, it's on the box kind of use that, that it's kind of little known, I guess. Okay, so we got here, it's a couple pens, a couple Parkers, and this is a Fisher Space Pen, one of the bullet pens. Okay, now for a kit, the Fisher Space Pen is great. Now, if you're not familiar with what a Fisher Space Pen is, okay, uh, during the space program they wanted a pen that would write in zero gravity okay now while very few of us here who might be watching this video are going to end up in space there are definitely some advantages to a pen that is impervious to the forces of gravity okay most pens um, you know if you as long as you're sitting writing on a horizontal surface everything's fine the minute you are away from a desk and you find yourself, you know, writing on a vertical surface or, you know, kind of operating outside the lines in terms of like a normal writing situation, all of a sudden your pen quits working, you know, it, uh, gravity isn't pulling that ink down to the rollerball and it just doesn't work. Okay. So the, the Fisher space pen is great. It also works, uh, it, it's a pressurized cartridge basically is how it works uh, there's a little nitrogen uh, gas bubble in there that pushes the ink towards the ball so that works in whatever orientation okay um, these other two here are Parker's okay Parker jotters and Parker jotters come in a bunch of different flavors okay this is the real basic one here I always tell Parker because the pocket clip looks like an arrow. Alright, the plastic on the bottom, the stainless steel on the top. I kind of like the all stainless ones. And then there's a super fancy one that, uh, you know, costs like 20 bucks. But, you know, this basic one costs about 5 or 6 bucks. This one costs about probably like, I don't know, 10 bucks. And the super fancy one costs 20 and I don't have one of those because I'm not a super fancy guy. Stainless steel one's good enough for me. Okay. Now let's talk about some differences, okay. You know, while this is all well and good for putting in a kit, it fits really small in your pocket. Okay. The bullet pen is basically the most well-known Fisher Space Pen design. Okay. There are some issues with it, you know. Uh, in order to get it in, to be in writing phase, you basically have to pull the cap off and put it on the back, which isn't such a big deal if you're writing on occasion, but if you're writing, you know, frequently, making lots of little notes, you know, my mother-in-law, uh, before she retired was an RN, and, you know, they're all, nurses are always writing things on charts, you know, making little notes, and, uh, the idea that you would have to disassemble and reassemble it every time you want to write something is kind of annoying. They pretty much live by clicky pens. Okay, so the Parker Jotter is a clicky pen. So that's good. You know, it's really easy to deploy it. You're not going to be writing on yourself. Click it, unclick it. But the Parker Jotter, okay, is just a regular ink pad. Let me see if I can open this. You now we open it up. What do we got in here? Yep. This is just your standard Parker ink pen refill. It's got the little gears up here on the top. You know, and when you click it, it, it rotates around. There's a spring down here and it clicks and it rotates around. Okay. Now, basically, that's all well and good. We got over here, when you open up your Fisher Space Pen, if I can get it 
open. Ooh, some really fine threads. I forgot about that. Catfish or space pen refill. They're similar in size, but they're not exactly the same. Okay, so, and this is really where all the magic of the Fisher Space Pen is, is in this cartridge. Okay, so this thing will write upside down and sideways or whatever all by itself. If you're a minimalist, you could probably get by with just this, you know. So, when you go out and get a refill for this, it's what you get. So here's your refill. And also, there's this little plastic thing. Now, this little plastic thing is not required for the Fisher Space Pen. So most people would just throw it away. They use this, put it in their Fisher Space Pen, off they go. Okay, but what is this thing? I mean, it's not a secret if you read it on here. The trouble is, if all you own is Parker Jotters, okay, you might not read a refill for a Fisher Space Pen. But watch this, guys. You take this little doohickey. Hang on. Bear with me, guys. Okay. Look at that. So now, what we have is something that essentially fits in the same hole. Right? So now we can take our Fisher Space Pen and our Parker Jotter. We can do this. And put this right in here and we'll reassemble it here kind of off camera so I'm doing this handheld all right so now what you got is a clicky Fisher space pen so that comes in handy and that makes for a, a really neat everyday carry pen and uh, you know if you get the basic here I mean these refills the Fisher refills Cost about five dollars at Staples, and the basic jotter costs about six dollars. So for eleven dollars, okay, you basically have a Fisher Space Pen Parker jotter and an extra ink cartridge that you can save in case you can't get any more Fisher Space Pen refills down the ro road. Okay, so but that's great. Um, you know, sometimes um, you know you really want the the real compactness of the bullet design. It's a neat design for a pen. Um, but like I said, there's some disadvantages to it. So whichever way you go, um, I just wanted to make a quick video just so, you know, maybe people who use the jotters maybe um, could learn something about how they could really get the most out of their little pen. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.